Director of Athletic Communications, Jeremy Zalaka, here today with head women's basketball coach, Cam Seeley. Cam, why don't you take us through the quarterfinal win over Newberry last night, first time the program won a quarterfinal game since 2015, and your first as a head coach. How did that feel, and just take us through the game? You know, it was it was a shell shock at first. Like, uh, it really didn't hit me. Uh, I think during the game, we were just playing so well. I think every time they scored, we matched it almost. And so I never at any point during the game got, I would say, like, thinking twice about, is, is this the right game plan? Do we need to change anything? Like, I felt like everything we had planned, it worked going throughout. And our players, they were so tough, like mentally tough. I told them, I was like, everyone is tired right now. Everyone uh, is knows the other team's plays. It's going to come down to who can win the 50-50 balls, who can get the rebounds, who can make plays. And we just continued to do that. I, I tried to keep everyone fresh by keeping a fresh rotation going in. And uh, – uh, I'm glad a lot of people got touches on the ball, and every, I think we had, what, about nine or ten people score, and so I think it was just a good team win for us, and I think they were excited because those, those people in that locker room, they've never won a conference tournament game because the last one was since 2015, and I think they really got to feel what that felt like, and so I hope that's just a, something that our program strives for and wants to do every single year moving forward. What did it feel like when that clock hit zero and you knew that you were moving on to the semifinals, going to Furman? getting a chance to celebrate with your team. What did that feel like? Well, I was just excited because that was one of our goals this year. And so our seniors were on the court at that time, and they got in the, their last game in Shuford. And I probably should have taken them out for a standing ovation, but I wanted them to get that last feeling in Shuford because we had a really good crowd here last night. And uh, I, I just – I think it was it was more so like oh, we did it because uh, I told them, just get there. Your emotions will take over once we get there. And so I think that was the, the good thing. Like we have one more day until we're at Furman, and we've been counting down to that. And so we, now we got one day till we're there. Speaking of the crowd last night, you mm -hmm. first of all, you earned the right to play at home yeah. with a strong finish of the season. What did it mean to have that kind of support and, and play that well in front of your home, t your home fans? Well, since I went here – well, God, that was about seven or eight years ago. The support has been unbelievable. And uh, AD, Kim, she's done a great job of making – everyone strives for excellence within our athletic department. I think when you do that, it, uh, it raises the, the support and the camaraderie within our athletic department. And we had the stands full, the bottom, bottom level full last night. And it was a – you had to pay to get in, everyone. Like, we didn't even have a pass list. And so that was so encouraging for, I think, our players to see that they have drawn that kind of support because of the exciting way we play. And uh, I think it's just good for our athletic department in all facets, especially. And then after the game, we go into the lobby and everyone Everyone's watching men's basketball on the TV outside. And so it's just a good feeling when you can get on social media and see that everyone's on board with what you're doing. Turning the page, we had the all-conference uh, awards were announced. You had Maddie on the second team. Uh, Kendall got honorable mention. And Madeline Hardy was on the all-freshman team. Uh, what, did you, what did that mean to the program to have three people selected and, and give us a little rundown on, on each of those three players? Yeah, well, Maddie, I mean, she's, she's been knocking on the door uh, her whole career at honorable mention. And one of her goals this year was to get all conference. And so my first thing I sent her this morning was, hey, you met your goal. Now, was it easy for her? No, like she had some ups and downs. I mean, it, it was never easy. But she got there, and I think it kind of solidifies for her, her career, that she got all conference because she's going to be in top nine or top eight by the time she finishes in scoring. And so I'm just proud of her and local product. Um, I'm just happy she chose Lenore Ryan because we got a really good career out of her, and I think she can continue leading us in Furman. Kendall, gosh, she leads a sack and assist. She's going to be in top five a, a career assist. And she has honestly been like – she's drove this ship these last couple games. I mean, she got – she hit a bump in the road when she got sick and we went to Newberry and we had to re honestly go without a point guard. But when she came back, like – she added to what we were doing at Newberry, and it took us to a whole other level of play. And she doesn't have a sub right now, so I just keep telling her, like, just, are you good? You good? And you need, like, and she constantly, I'm good, Coach Cam. I got you. And that's a, that's a comfort feeling as a coach. And then Madeline is a freshman, averaging almost a double-double in conference play. That's not easy to do in the sack. And I'm just proud of, like, her as a freshman, you have to adapt to a lot of things when you first get here. And she's, I mean, she's already playing, I think, like an upperclassman. And so that's what you want as a coach. And to know we get her for three more years, I'm thrilled. So happy. Now let's look forward to this weekend. Okay. We made it to the semifinal round. We drew the top seed, Anderson. Played him twice this year. Two times, played him really tough. Most recently it was a six-point loss at home. Mm -hmm. 
they ran the table in sack play in the regular season. But what looking forward to Anderson, what do you see? What stands out to you? Well, I mean, running the table in sack play is not easy. Like it's you, we have a really tough lead. Four teams in the regional poll. Uh, it's it's not easy to come every single night and do what they've done. So. Good job for JB that over there coaching them, and they have three really good players, all conference nominees, first and second team, and so we got our we got our uh, a job a tough job ahead of us, and I think that the the big thing for them is like. They're consistent about what they do. Their players, their program, like their stats, they're first in the league in a lot of things. But we're just hoping that it's time for them to to maybe miss a miss a beat. I don't know, and hopefully we can come out and hit some shots at Furman, and uh, hopefully being on a neutral environment will help. But I think the big thing is we just have to continue doing what we're doing, and hopefully we can wear them down a little bit, stay fresh bodies, because they they, they played their three players almost 40 minutes. So I'm hoping we can just hang our hats on that and just hope that the momentum we're carrying will take us to Furman. There you have it. Bears on a five-game winning streak. Tip-off Saturday noon, Lenore Ryan against Anderson. Good luck, Coach.